Here is another application of vectors. A pilot wishes to fly 400 km north. Due to wind, the pilot actually flies 430 km in the direction of 5 degrees east of north. How far and in what direction must the pilot now fly in order to achieve the proper displacement? So, I've already given you a vector diagram. Let's try to understand this. It shows the displacement. So, here we have the original position from where the pilot takes off. Let's call it A. So, the pilot wants to go 400 kilometers north to the point B, right? But because the wind, pilot reaches in this direction, it reaches point C, which is 430 kilometers away and 5 degrees east of north. So we'll assume this to be north, right? So this is like north for us. And the plane actually goes in this direction, which is 5 degrees east of north, right? Now, this is a vector displacement triangle for you. Now, the, tra the, pi the question is that pilot needs to come back to B from C. So we need to find this direction and distance. So these are the two things required. So I hope the question is very clear to you. Now when you look at this triangle, what do you get? You get two sides with included angle and whenever you have two sides with included angle, then you can solve a triangle using cosine law, right? So you will use cosine law and find the value of x. Let's call this distance x which now the pilot needs to cover. So this distance x is equal to square root of square of these two sides which is representing the displacement 400 square plus 430 square minus 2 times 400 times 430 times cosine of angle 5 cos of 5 degrees. So square root of all this will give us x, correct? So we can use the calculator to calculate this figure. So it says square root and within bracket we'll write 400 square plus 430 square minus 2 times 400 times 430 times cos of 5 bracket close equal to and we get 47.0 so we'll write 47 here so it is equals to 47 and the units are kilometer so the displacement is 47 kilometers here so we'll write our answer here as 47 kilometers right now we get a triangle in which we know three sides correct so all the three sides are known to us and we need to find the angle theta correct so to find theta, we can use sine law, right? So we, so I normally put whatever is required right on the top. So sine law, we I'll write like this: sine theta over opposite to theta is 400 equals to known angle of five sine of five degrees. Over we just calculated this value of 47. Now from here we can find theta, and theta is equals to sine inverse of 400 over 47 times sine of 5 correct and we can find the angle theta so we'll do sine inverse which is second function in my calculator within brackets we'll do 400 divided by 47 and then we'll do times sine of 5 degrees sine of 5 degrees bracket close equal to and we get 47.88 so that gives me the answer of let me write it here it gives me 47.88 so we'll write this as uh, 48 right so we'll, we'll write 48 so because I used that round of figure of 40, 
sides so we get this approximately right so we'll write 48 degrees for the time being so actually speaking we should not round this distance when we are using calculations here so we could have got a better result if I would have used uh, more accuracy right but anyway this is good enough 47.88 is uh, let me write this as 48 degrees right? that's fine so theta is 48 now how can you give a course in which direction is the plane going so we should give this direction we can give it from north we can give angle of bearing right there are so many different ways of giving this direction right so as you can see from the figure that if this angle is actually 48 degrees so that means this is the direction where the angle between these two is 48 so let me just make things a bit more clear if I extend this here right so in this triangle what angle what is the angle from the horizontal so that is what you have to give so we, we can say from south from south how much west it is that's one way of giving it right so what we can do is if you see this is north so this is north these two lines are parallel right so this becomes a transverse line right therefore if this is 5 degrees this is also 5 degrees Do you see that so we have 5 here also so if you see from south towards west then it becomes 48 plus 5 okay so from south it is 48 degrees plus 5 and that is we can say 53 degrees right so my answer can be written as from south 53 degrees west so rounding to one decimal place that is the direction which the plane has to take and the distance required is 47 kilometer right I hope you understand how we did it right so that is how you should do these questions correct so finding angles at times could be critical so look for parallel lines and the transverse line and then get your angle and then write down your fun final answer that should be the method okay I hope you understand and appreciate it thank you and all the best